Hey guys, Dexter here from uh, Dexter's Workshop. I've promised you some uh, tutorials for um, KiCad software package. Uh, so uh, here we are. Uh, I've recorded a previous version of this tutorial and I've decided that I will redo it. First uh, thing you'll have to do is go on and download it and you can download from KiCad PCB.org You will have it here, downloads uh, I'm using a nightly build so uh, uh, that is only available for um, Windows operating system so you'll have either 64-bit version or 32-bit uh, version which one is su suitable for you. Um, also, another uh, thing you have to remember is the fact that the nightly build will not come with the libraries, PCB footprints and 3D models. You will have to get the current stable version and then update it in the same directory um, and you will have all the other uh, uh, all the other files. Okay, long story short, this is KiCad, and this is the main window when you are going to open KiCad. Uh, first thing you have to do is make a new project. Um, I will call it KiCad. Uh, basically at this particular point you can start edit the schematic the workflow in a CAD system is schematic capture then you will have uh, assigning PCB uh, PCB footprints to the parts and after that you will start design the PCB according to mechanical specifications and stuff like this. Um, KiCad, like all the professional CAD software packages, PCB CAD software packages, um, split the associations of the um, symbols, of the electrical symbols with the PCB footprints that would allow you to basically have whatever footprint you like for the same electrical or electronical symbol okay so right now you will have to do a schematic capture and you will have it by clicking on the S on the schematic file that will actually open the window you can do a couple of things around here to make your life easier. One thing that you would like to do is general option and modify the grid size. I'm using 25, default is 50, but I'm using 25. I found it more suitable for all, of, all my, uh, uh, my projects. You will have to show grid. Uh, if I remember well default, you will not have show grid by default. Uh, and show hidden pins uh, in case you are um, using CMOS um, parts uh, and stuff like that. Usually, the 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 vault uh, the power supply pins are hidden, so you like to show hidden pins. Um, after this, you will have to go to manage symbol library tables as I was saying in my previous one um, I will remove all libraries basically huh, seems like remove libraries okay okay so, uh, seems like uh, there are some bugs around nightly builds and some are quite stupid but you can actually live with them and um, uh, especially that 
it's an open source package with a lot of functionalities that you will not find in uh, medium commercial packages. Uh, so adding libraries is very simple. Just go, go browse, and you can you can go with go, uh, global libraries or project specific. I'm going with global, and I'm adding my libraries because I'm using. 99% of the time I'm using the same libraries and the same parts. So going browse, you can go to directory where you have the, the libraries and you can actually select the whole collection and you will have it here. Okay. After that you will get some warnings about illegal characters. In the nickname column, you will not be allowed to have spaces, so you will have to modify that with any character you like. I'm using dashes, you can use underscores, you can use, um, I don't know, plus signs, whatever. Um, but I'm doing it like this. And after all the the violations are cleared you're allowed to <coughs> proceed further at this particular moment the the libraries are loaded into the project and what you can do right now is start adding uh, electrical symbols aka parts you are doing this by pressing a from add a new open window will open and you will have to choose what type of parts you'd like to add so i'm going i don't know it's a regulator i'm going with uh some jacks okay some capacitors some electrolyte capacitors and uh, some resistors I don't know just let's see resistors okay now having those parts here uh, you can actually add uh, one of each category and after that you can copy them multiply them because you're not tied, and that's, that's the beauty of it, of it, you are not tied to the fact that each electrical symbol is tied to a footprint. You can actually, for each electrical symbol available in the schematic, you can assign different uh, PCB footprints. Uh, some basic operations um, are made very easy in KiCad and the schematic capture process is very fast. Um, you can actually place your uh, mouse cursor over a particular symbol and uh, press C for copy and you can have as many copies as you like. Just place, place over it, press C, that's it, that's all. Um, also for any type of symbol etc if you'd like to move them either you can go with the global selection with your mouse like this just select click drag select them and place them whatever you like or you can move them individually by place, uh, placing your cursor over the uh, the symbol and, plus, uh, and pressing M from move so pressing M, just place your cursor over the symbol and press M. Okay, uh, another useful operation is the rotate operation, with, which can be done in two modes. By placing your cursor over that particular symbol and placing R a couple of times until you will have your desired orientation. Or by placing your cursor over the symbol, pressing M, for move and while you are moving the part you can actually rotate it. 
Now, uh, after you will move the parts to the desired location, you can add power symbols like ground, for example, which is the most important. Uh, and you can do that by pressing P. So you are pressing P for, from power symbols. Or you can press A and search for ground, for example. I found, I found to be much more uh, high speed by pressing the K pads uh, and going like this because it will actually enable me to and also the copy feature at this particular moment when all your parts are placed to desired location you can add nets and adding nets it's by placing your mouse over a particular pin and placing W from wire. So you're going like this. After you press the wire, the W K pad, the option will stay selected and you can add wires. Also, the move and copy operation will not change the particular tool that you're using in that moment. So if I'm going to copy this symbol, I'm still in wire mode operation, okay? Like this. Okay, we are going to move... You'll have to pay attention to the connections with the uh, wires and symbols. If the wires and pins are not connected, you'll have a square and a round symbol. After that, both symbols will disappear and you'll have a valid connection. As I said, there are some bugs that are not so bad but uh, some of them are uh, are going to be fixed in uh, next releases and that will be a big step forward for it another thing you can do is delete the parts how do you delete the parts by pressing uh, by pressing uh, delete keypad uh, placing your cursor over the desired symbol that you want to delete, just press delete and you have them deleted. You can focus your your uh, zoom selection to a certain part of the schematic. You can bring it or you can have it in a panoramic view, a whole view and center. I prefer to do that. Okay. Uh, Let's say that our schematic, <coughs> sorry, <coughs> our schematic, it's ready and you would like to, uh, to go on and annotate the parts because you will have to annotate the parts instead of those uh, question marks, uh, you'll have to have a number that will be the designator of that particular part and KiCad can um, automatically annotate for you so just leave it default click annotate uh, it will say that the operation will change the current annotation and cannot be undone as you can see KiCad placed uh, numbers for each um, 
selection of symbols so you got c1 c2 c3 consecutive numbers for the capacitors if we were about to have another jack here we will have another dc2 another regulator etc uh, etc et uh, and that's a very good a very nice feature to have in case you have big schematics and you don't want to keep annotating the parts yourself this is where eagle uh, sucks a lot. Uh, another thing that it's very nice is the fact that you can uh, place your cursor over a particular part, press V from value and change the values. So pressing V will change the values. Uh, another thing that you can do it's going out placing your cursor over a, a particular symbol and press E from edit and you will have you will basically have more option to options to edit that particular part you can uh, edit the spice models uh, update field values uh, you can change the orientation the phone style visibility etc the, the, the alignment uh, and so on basically you can have the same properties edit individually or you can have this window open and you can edit it there uh, that's kind of that's kind of it uh, regarding the workflow of capturing a schematic uh, what you can Another thing that you can do is uh, going on and plot schematic and you can plot it in a couple of uh, formats like PDF, SVG, D DXF. Uh, uh, usually the, the most used format is the PDF and or the SVG in case you'd like to edit it or uh, add it uh, in a document without a, a background. Uh, you can actually choose the the schematic size, the actual schematic size, and it, it will or it will get fitted in a four or a type uh, sheet. Output mode you can choose it to be black and white or color, uh, and plot border and title block. Uh, if you're not going to choose an output directory, the output directory will be the one that. Uh, the project resides in another thing you can do it's actually modify the blocks the block or the cartridge of the schematic and this is a good way to keep track of different versions and uh, uh, who captured the schematic uh, what the schematic represents and so on the dates and uh, and stuff like this you can you can uh, add all this information here including date if that is the current the current date or whatever date you like and you can add it into this this particular cartridge here uh, that's a nice way to to organize things as i said kicad it's it's a quite a professional uh, software package and uh, will keep track of everything you do and uh, will enable you to to organize things in a um, uh, organized matter in in a professional way uh, another thing uh, another important thing you can do uh, in a schematic it's uh, adding labels and I'm there are, there are a couple of uh, types of labels that are used by KiCad and you can have them here uh, global labels hierarchical label labels uh, because my my schematics at this particular moment do not um, extend on a couple of sheets I'm using global labels and global labels are visible through all the sheets uh, and will actually enable me to have connections made over a couple of uh, schematic sheets. 
placing labels is very easy. You can place a bit of wire by placing W uh, and you place wire. And to place a global label, you can hit, you can uh, keep the control key uh, pressed and press H and you will have global label properties. So control and H will bring the this glo uh, global label uh, dialog box up and you can say VCC. You can actually rotate it pressing air a couple of times and you can place it. Uh, using labels it's a very good practice especially when you have big schematics uh, with digital circuitry and you would like to have your schematic uh, made in block uh, or in logical blocks um, so you can connect different parts of the circuit via labeling and not via actual wires which will clutter the schematic and made it almost unreadable so again if you are going to capture the schematic in a professional way, use labels for the nets. Uh, okay, so this is basically it. This is the, the way you can capture schematic in KCAD and uh, also a um, couple of workflows and shortcuts on the keyboard. I will, I will press, uh, I will uh, publish a document uh, with the um, most of the shortcuts of the key shortcuts from KiCad, which will prove to be to be very uh, useful if you are going to to use your keypads, and I do recommend that a lot. It's it's much faster. Uh, I can actually say at this particular moment, being a f almost fifty years, fifteen year users of EagleCAD. The schematic capture process in KiCad it's at least twice faster than the one in Eagle, and not being uh, constrained or forced to have your um, uh, footprints uh, tied to your symbols will actually enable you to have any type of footprint you like on your schematic that will later be attached to a to a footprint uh, to a PCB footprint. Uh, this is uh, it for the first part of the KiCad tutorials. This one was re uh, was regarding the, the schematic capture process. Uh, in the next one, we will talk about assigning PCB footprints for your uh, for your symbols and uh, how you're going to import uh, the nets uh, the net list in the PCB. Uh, designer thank you guys hope you're in, you're enjoying this first part of uh, of the tutorial see you again in the second part